a random variable x takes the value minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 such that p of x is equal to 0 which is equal to p of x less than 0 and p of x equal to minus 3 which is equal to p of x is equal to minus 2 which is equal to p of x is equal to minus 1 which is equal to p of x is equal to 1 which is equal to p of x is equal to 2 which is equal to p of x is equal to 3. So find the probability distribution. Now this is one of the again uh, important question or different kind I can say. The probability distribution is so as per this table I am writing the probability distribution. So values of uh, x are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 as it is our date. But we don't know the probability of these values. So we will consider this is the first probability that is P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7 because we don't know the respective probabilities of minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and all. So we will take in general as P1 to P7. Now by data that is by data means the first condition they have given P of x is equal to 0 is equal to P of x less than 0. So I have taken P of x is equal to 0 which is equal to P of x less than 0. It means the P of x is equal to 0 means P of 0 which is equal to P of x less than 0 means 0 is here. Less than 0 which all numbers are there? Minus 3 minus 2 minus 1. P of minus 3 plus P of minus 2 plus P of minus 1. So this P of 0, P of 0 stand for P4 equal to means P of 4 plus P of minus 3. P of this minus 3 is nothing but P1. P of minus 2 is P2 and P of minus 1 is P3. So this equation in, term, in terms of what here P only give equation number 1. Now but we know that summation of P of x according to our condition summation of P of x is what here 1. So what we will do here we will add this P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4 plus P5 plus P6 plus P7 is equal to 1 according to this condition I have taken and I will give equation number 2. Also in the question they have given one more condition P of x is equal to minus 3 which is equal to P of x is equal to minus 2 which is equal to these all. Okay, so which is nothing but according to the question, so I will write here P of x is equal to minus 3. P of x is equal to minus 3 means P of minus 3 which is nothing but P1. Next, P of x is equal to minus 2. It means P of x is equal to minus 2 it is P2. All are equal here. Similarly, all values you just see you will get P1 is equal to P2 is equal to P3 is equal to P5 is equal to p6 is equal to p7 total so according to the question it will be p1 means second condition what they have given in the question according to that we will get p1 is equal to p2 is equal to p3 is equal how we got because of p of minus 3 is p1 p of minus 2 is p2 p of minus 1 is p3 p of 1 is p5 p of 2 is p6 p of 3 e x is equal to 3 is p7 so according to that but who is missing here p of 0 is not there that is missing here. So only we have P1 is equal to P2 is equal to P3 is equal to P4 is equal to P4 is not there P5 P6 P7 means you can consider that if you got somewhere P of 7 you can write P7 as P1 or P6 as P1 or P5 as P1 P3 as P1 or P1 as P5 P2 as P5 anything anything you can fix it for any one value here okay now next case using 3 in 1 so using this 3 in 1 so we'll make what here all p2 and p3 by using p2 p2 is also p1 and p3 is also p1 so i will convert this p2 and p3 by using condition 2 so p2 is also p1 and pt p3 is also p1 according to the equation number 3 so therefore what happens here p4 is equal to p1 this p1 as it is this p2 i will write it as p1 because of condition 3 and uh, P3 I will write as P1 according to what here condition 3. So therefore we got 3 times P1 which is nothing but P1 value is P4 upon 3 or P4 is what here 3 times P1 only. So either both of this condition. Now using 3 in 2 condition 3 we have to use in 2. This condition number 3 will use in 2. What happens? So I will convert all P2, P3, 
p5 p6 because i don't know the value of p4 we got it from here so p2 p3 p5 p6 p7 will write it as uh, in terms of p1 and p4 as it is so i have taken here completely p4 as it is so it is will become 6 times it will become 6 times p1 plus p4 is equal to 1 but we know the p4 value just now we got it it is 3 times p1 so therefore total we got 9 p1 is equal to 1 which is the nothing but p1 value is how much here 1 upon 9 so once we got the value of p1 as 1 upon 9 then you can get the value of p4 that is p4 is nothing but what here it is 3 times p1 so 3 into 1 upon 9 which is 3 by 9 so we got the value of p4 so therefore by taking this all values you go back to the table and substitute the value of p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 and complete the distribution table so this completes the problem here